Yeah. Yeah. So we talked about uh, yeah. Fund a little bit, but uh, yeah, I would like to ask about the annual funding phase. Yeah. So let's say you have an idea and mm -hmm. you can do those products which are basically on the front end, mm -hmm. but you need some back end code to it if you want to actually show to real investors. So let's say you don't have any skills in uh, software development. Uh, how do you get money to fund the developers to? get money for the angle of the phase. Okay. So do you need to have any code, let's say, for the app before you show it to angel investors or would anybody fund you without having a prototype working app? So first point is, I think that uh, having a working prototype plus traction is worth a thousand more times more than uh, a good PowerPoint presentation and even a good pitch. Like anything that works and is um, having attraction is, is already great enough. So of course that in any world situation it would be great to have a working app like already as you said with the whole back -end. you know guys like you're a mathematics student as well, right? But you know the term backend? That's me. Yeah. All the others know what's backend or no? Like yeah, front and back, front end, right? We're always like seeing in, in vision and other prototyping apps, it's just like the first layer that you actually see and click, and then a front end <coughs> guy takes it from an image to a clickable thing, and then it's being linked with the back end, so with the database and the whole machine that you don't see, right? And this gentleman asked me, uh, what if you don't have the right skills to do the back end? So here the answer is first one is, Find co-founders that are doing backend and want to join you, because like um, it's going to be necessary. If not during this stage, then the next one for sure. Uh, if you if you should go to co to like investors without any um, um, coding behind it, well, it's a hard part. It depends really what it is. Like uh, if you would say you're uh, Elizabeth Holmes and you're doing the uh, portable uh, diagnostic system that should like read everything from your blood that would be done in a uh, special laboratory and here it's done like everywhere and you can buy it in an amenities store then you need to have like a certain know-how and if it's a specialized app you need to have the code but uh, if your uh, like main, pro main solution of the problem could be already presented and simulated without the code I would say it's like already good enough. Adam, you've been here like around last time? Last no, last no, okay, so I was thinking about a, um, a, my uh, colleague who was thinking about launching a uh, good cosmetics app. So it was all about showing women uh, what kind of cosmetics should they take when uh, going inside of Rossmann, right? Or a drugstore or Tesco. And the thing was let's label uh, the cosmetics and let's make this kind of smart list of cosmetics and recommendations. So I told her then to make uh, at first the list without any code on paper, go into one, one Rossmann, stand there for one week, and just be this, be this app, like a human being app, and recommending it to real, real people users and see if anybody cares. Because like if, like if all people are, uh, I don't give a heck about this, because like I have my favorite shampoo or cream from L'Oreal, and even if you tell me that Nivea is better, I just don't care because I take L'Oreal, right? So I think that there are a lot of steps that you can simulate and even I can see a tendency that huge IT corporations uh, use uh, Envision or Actual or other tools to prototype since as you know coding is uh, it's not a cheap business. It's, it's, it really takes a lot of cost and money. Uh, so even if you have your friend your back end friend and he says like sorry what's your name? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So he says like Johnny I'm gonna help you, you're this uh new on the mask of Krakow City and I want to join this project. Then probably it will change and you will pivot a lot of times. So I don't, I mean I wouldn't say that there's a need of having a coded thing because uh the idea I think during like first year is going to change so many times. It's like all the time cycles, cycles, cycles.